Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode, we play around with textures to make an old postal card. This is the before and this is the after. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs and welcome to episode 64 of my photography, lightroom and photoshop tips. My name is Sergio Ramelli et je suis français et je vis à Paris, but this podcast is in English. Last week, I showed you how to give a Hollywood look to your photos. I also explained you a bit the Hollywood theory about colors. Check out last week's episode if you're interested. This week, we're going to play with textures. We're going to play with two textures. First, we're going to start off with this photo of the opera, and then we're going to add some clouds after doing a bit of retouching in Lightroom. And then we're going to give an old postcard look, which is this is the final result. Playing with textures is very important when you work with Lightroom and Photoshop. So let me show you how. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to this tutorial. As usual, before we get started, I just want to show you two things. First, uh, this is my website, photosearch.com. And if you go on tutorials, uh, I made a special offer last week where I gave 30% off all the tutorials using the code October 11. It was a big success. But a lot of people wrote me that they saw uh, this a bit too late because they did not watch on YouTube uh, in time the video. So I'm going to expand that minus 30% again for this week until Friday night. So you can still go for it using October 11, as you can see here, as a discount and you will get minus 30% on all my training. So if you did not get the opportunity because you got the video too late, well, here is the time. Now, last but not least, I have a new option that I'm testing on my website uh, called Portfolio by Prints. Some people also have been asking me to buy prints and I'm trying the Smug Mud solution, which you can see now, I, I made a new portfolio with them, for example. So I have the Fine Art Paris, Fine Art Landscape, Fine Art Venice, Fine Art USA. So it's like my preferred photo uh, per uh, subject. And you can actually purchase the photo as prints. It works directly with a lab. For example, this photo, or let's say you want to have uh, this photo of the Eiffel Tower. You can just click to add to cart this photo and you can have different size. It goes, the cheapest is $40 and it can go up to a big size with a very nice print, like $400 or $800. So, but there is for prices for everyone. If you want to have uh, photos of me at your home and it also helps to, uh, uh, finance this podcast so you can check that out okay so last but not least if you want to get the raw file of what we are about to be doing and you want to follow along and there is three files directly this week all you have to go is go to news sign up and uh, news sign up and you just enter your name and your email and you will get a link in that link you will get a page in that page you will get all the raw files for all the podcast so, and if you lost the email, try to find it. And if you cannot find it, just write me and I'll send it back to you. Okay, so now let's get cooking. So here we are. This is a photo taken at five o'clock in the morning of the opera at 6.18 to be precise. But I got up at five because I live a, a bit away from Paris. And I was so disappointed because I, you know, I got up so early and the sky was like boring. There was no clouds, there was nothing. So I want to show you several techniques for the price of one. Uh, and the whole thing is free anyway. Uh, I want to show you how to, you can add clouds, which I've already shown in the past, but I want to re-show it to you in a, you know, different ways. And I want to make this a very old um, uh, postal card from Paris, like from if it was from 50 or 100 years ago. So let's do first a little bit of retouching. So let's go to the develop module and I'm going to do my standard retouching, which I always do, which is uh, open up the shadows. Uh, and bring down the highlights. Okay, uh, now I don't like this blue tone, so I'm going to take this and I'm going directly on the sky to make this all, uh, I want this to be very warm. That's very important because uh, uh, old paper is warm and also I want this to be pretty white. So that's why I click directly with the white balance on the sky. Then I'm going to do my white point, but this time I want to go, yeah, to something like this. And then I'm going to do my black points, something like that. I'm going to add clarity, uh, actually pretty a lot of clarity, something like that. And then I want to do uh, 
unable the profile correction, remove chromatic aberration. That's important. If you don't know what that is, you can look some old episode from me. I go this into more details. And then the famous new option that I love, which is the auto upright function, which is going to just make the photo straight. Okay. Then I want to crop it. So I'm going to go into the crop tool and I'm going to crop it above the lamps because I want it to be like a bit of a pano of this old opera of Paris, beautiful opera in Paris, by the way. Okay, uh, last but not least, yeah, that's about it. So now that's my basic retouching. And now let's get into the drama. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the photo and the sky, just these two, and I'm gonna right click, edit, and uh, open as layers in Photoshop. And that's what that's gonna do is, uh, well, open both files in Photoshop. Now the problem is that, that my sky is much bigger than uh, the, the photo of the opera. So you will see, uh, you know, you can see that, but that's fine. All I'm gonna do is get the sky to go above the photo, put the sky into the uh, multiply mode. What the multiply mode is gonna do is that anything which is white or transparent, anything that is white in the photo is gonna become transparent. Let me recrop the photo. Uh, I'm gonna recrop the photo here. Okay. And voila. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a layer mask, take a brush, which is about 45%. I'm just gonna, you know, the, the prints, uh, when you have a mask, a white mask on, and you brush black, it's uh, anything that you brush black on is gonna stop revealing what's on that layer, and that layer is the clouds. So I take out the clouds basically by brushing. But you see how they uh, how the clouds using the multiply mode really blends well. I mean, it's like you could not do it with this track. You see, it's like totally blended on the photo. You know, if they were truly skies, you see, it's like perfectly done. If it was not done uh, with, uh, you know, if it was done with a different technique, it would not be possible. So anyways, so that's kind of cool. Now I'm gonna bring in that I've done that, I'm gonna bring in that last, that last texture. Uh, no, you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this and re-import it into Lightroom. Uh, the reason I do that is I wanna do some Lightroom stuff before going back again into Photoshop. So all I did now is I just added the clouds. That's all I did. So now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give a look to that photo now that the clouds are included into it. I'm, and for that, I'm just gonna go into the, um, the split toning that I love a lot. And I'm just gonna add a bit of blue in the shadows, something like that. And a bit of yellow in the highlights. Some, I wanna make this a bit old, some Instagram look. So blue in the shadows, yellow in the highlights. Now, I'm gonna actually give make this as a preset because this, this is pretty similar to the Hollywood preset that we did, but it's more like Instagram. So I'm gonna call this Instagram preset, for example. So I'm gonna make sure that check none is on. I just want the split toning to be selected and I'm gonna save that as Instagram look. Why I call this Instagram? Because on Instagram you have this type of look. Okay. So now I've done the Instagram look. I want to go further than that. So I, what I'm gonna do is take my photo and take my texture, right click, edit, and edit, open as layers in Photoshop. So I'm gonna open the layers again, uh, this photo again with this uh, texture on top of it. Okay, well, the texture is on the bottom. I'm gonna put it on the top of it. Okay, then I'm gonna press Command T. Here is the texture. I'm gonna make it big enough making sure this black stuff is not on. Voila. Okay, maybe a little bit of the black stuff can stay here. That's kind of cool. Press enter. And then now let's try overlay. Ooh, overlay is nice. Or let's try soft light. Soft light is a lot more subtle. Uh, it's a lot more subtle. So let's, uh, what you can do is either you do overlay and then you desaturate a little bit. So you go into U and saturation and you decide to write, which is not bad. Or let me take the saturation off, or you can go directly into soft light and then you decide to write. Yeah, I think I prefer the overlay because I always like things to be a bit touchy. 
And now we've got a, a photo that looks really old and really cool. If you think it's too much, you can lower the opacity of the texture to make it a bit less present, something like that. And, and voila. And um, so we made a, a, I thought that photo was really fitting well to this, to this style. You know what, actually, I'm going to go back and put more of that. I, I love this very strong old look. And maybe I took a bit of too much saturation out. Yeah, something like that, make it a bit more yellow. Okay, so that's uh, a way to make an old photo and, uh, you know, with like a sort of a postal card type of look. So let me just save this and re-import it into Lightroom. So this is how you work, you know, between Lightroom and Photoshop, you know, all the time. So it's kind of cool, you know. So let me show you. So we originally, this was the original photo. Let me reset this one. So we came from this position, which is uh, kind of boring. Then we went uh, to this by adding the sky. And then, so you could stop here, which is kind of nice, you know. And then we went to this, like this very old uh, stylish uh, texture added into it. So that is how you work with textures between Lightroom and Photoshop. I hope you learned something, guys, and let's get back to the studio. Okay, guys, so I hope you liked that tutorial and you will check out this uh, amazing discount of 30% on all my tutorials, which is extended for another week. Thank you for all your support and all your emails. If you have any suggestions of future tutorials, just leave a comment in this video and uh, I will see what I can do about that. Thank you very much for being there every week and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Wow, 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 wow.